Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today I want to encourage you to firm up within. You see, in the book of Ephesians and chapter 6, I read to you from verse 10 all the way to verse 14. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Because of that, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the day, in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, how? Having your loins girt about with truth. So, a major weapon in the day of evil you are going to be dealing with is the wiles or the lies of the devil. Wiles is just lie with W behind it, which are white lies. Lies that aren't obvious. You see, it's easy to deal with obvious lies because something we just tell you is a lie. But whilst are subtle lies, they are they are in between truth and lie. They are polluted truth. They are facts that have been used to wrap lie to wrap lies so that it can look like truth. And the Bible says that you need to firm up against such. You see, lies that aren't obvious are very they are, they are tricky. They, they, they are traps of the devil. In the, in the Garden of Eden, the original wild was initiated. And it was a challenge on what God has said to mankind. A twisting of the truth so that evil might have its way. So when Satan start twisting the truth, everybody has it. Everybody, you know, no, nobody can be free that way. Nobody can really be healthy. You see, you see, and when you keep hearing all those wiles of the devil, they look like truth. They are even fact to support them at times. But necessarily, they are not truth, except that is what God is saying. And the loin is the mind of your spirit. From where you need to firm up against such lie. It is the core of your being. Like, you know, you hold your trousers with for firmness with belt. The same way you need firmness in your inside. You see, and firmness we're talking about is not just determination. It's not just stubbornness. But we're talking of firmness with basis. Firmness is the, is foundational. You need to know it's just foundational. It's about foundation. How much fruit foundation has been dug in your inside? Jesus was solid within and so resisted the wise of the devil at every turn in his life. You remember the mountain of temptation? He resisted he, he, the wise of the devil, not with stubbornness. In fact, he was hungry. So the Bible didn't say he wasn't subject to things, but he was firm. He had foundational truth. Resident in his inside. You firm up with foundational truth. You firm up with foundational truth. So that against the wiles of the devil, you are able to stand. Jesus in Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 has something to say. He said, if any man hears my saying and does them, it's like a man that has built his house on, it's like a wise man that has built his house on solid rock. So, so when wiles of the devil come as tongue, the house is going to stand. You need to firm up so that you don't start eating stone for bread. That was what Satan will have Jesus do. You need to firm up so that you don't plunge down from high tower and, and destroy yourself. You need to firm up so that you don't start trading your destiny for the world and the glory therein. You need to firm up within and win all battles within and without. It's my prayer for you today that God will give you access to foundational truth, truth of redemption, truth of God, 
truth of God about you, truth of God about what you're going through. And those truths will firm up your insight. It will firm up the loin of your mind, the core of your person, the mind of your spirit, so that no matter how much steam and storm out there is, God of heaven will come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for healings in your body. I pray against the wiles of the devil you are dealing with right now, that Jesus himself took your infirmity and bore your grief, and that the chastisement of your peace was on him. So be healed in your body, be healed in your emotion. You're not a loser, you are of God, and you have overcome the wicked one. My name is Inka Kitane, and I pastor Dadem Church, and we want you to go and Amazon and download our book, Potent Within. It will help you fab up within. Till I see you next time, God bless you.